राउंड है ना हाँ सर So trying out the uh, poha and the jalebi of uh, famous breakfast of Indore. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Ussal poha. Uh, the price of uh, poha and jalebi was 17 rupees. <laughs> I said, how come it is just 17 rupees? Uh, 10 rupees for poha, 7 rupees for jalebi. I'm still in shock. <laughs> It was really good. It was really, really good. Just uh, 10 minutes ago, I, I read a board uh, where Nagra was 567 something. Now it's showing 627. Again, there was a milestone of Agra where Agra was construction company who got this project will get uh, more projects of the Indian roads. I am driving at 80 and I am facing no problems at all. No problems. Taking a walk on this bridge as uh, I didn't took any break uh, so far it's almost five hours drive uh, means like uh, five hours drive from Indore to somewhere here This is 
the exit for the Bina Ganj and uh, on the other side it's going to be Sagar. So if you're coming from uh, Jabalpur or from that area, then uh, this route will connect you here. A lot of uh, people are taking the route uh, from uh, Guna to Jhansi to Gwalia. I don't know why you guys are taking it because there is absolutely no reason for it. Uh, you should take uh, this uh, Guna, Guna to Shivpuri, Shivpuri to Mohana and then Gwalia and then of course Agra. So there is absolutely no need of uh, taking the Jhansi route until unless you have some plans in Jhansi to see the Jhansi Ford or something else. Even if you are following the maps, uh, then see, you can see the difference here. It's seven hours from this route, the route which I am suggesting you. And if you are going from this route, this is going to be nine hours and 16 minutes. And that is going to be 451 kilometers instead of 370. So always go from this route. Climate is changing after every milestone. Uh, now the temperature is uh, pretty cold. People are wearing jackets and I'm still in a t-shirt. <laughs> but I'm going to change the clothes now uh, because I really don't want to take a risk. I stop here for a quick bites and uh, maybe for a drink and then I'll uh, continue my journey. After the sandwich, I'll be back on the roads again. The road trip like this, uh, it's fascinating, but uh, just remember that uh, you're changing so many states and uh, while changing these states, the temperature is also changing. Everyone is wearing sweaters and jackets, but I'm still uh, in a state of mind that I'm in Indore or in Nasik or near to Indore uh, where the temperature is not that cold. But for a fact, I know it's pretty cold outside. So I've changed my clothes, uh, wear this thermal and all. But I didn't change the lower as I'm waiting for these guys to leave. Okay, they are leaving now. <laughs> it's 8 o'clock right now. And uh, I'm still almost 500 kilometers away from Delhi. But I am planning to go to Delhi without taking any halt. Means like without taking any hotels. Uh, as I don't feel like to stay uh, anywhere at Agra or Gwalior because it's like it's just 200 kilometers will be left. But the second thought is that uh, after Gwalior it's going to be very foggy and uh, on Yamuna Expressway from Agra to Noida it's going to be very risky. Uh, means like at uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock uh, visibility is almost zero so it's going to be very risky so I have two thoughts that I'll decide after Gwalior <laughs> also I don't recommend anyone to drive it like this way the way that I'm choosing it right now like going straight uh, for 900 kilometers in just one stretch uh, I have a habit that's why I am doing it uh, else I don't recommend it to anyone take a halt after 500 kilometers or after uh, 11 12 hours driving that's enough for a day okay Hey, good morning everyone. So last night I had to stay in Gwalior because uh, the density of fog was very high. It was almost uh, zero visibility. So I didn't took a chance and uh, stayed in Gwalior. It's still raining and the fog is still here. 
on the highways after 50 60 kilometers i'll reach to agra and after that i'll connect to the yamuna express way uh road conditions are perfectly fine there are no problems so far <laughs> Rajasthan. Yes, Rajasthan. Uh, that all Rajasthan also come in between uh, the MP and the uh, UP. Uh, I think that was that. That's only for five ten kilometers. But uh, if you're driving a self drive car, then you need to pay the tax for the Rajasthan as well for one day or whatever. That was the entry exit point uh, for Agra. This is the end of uh, the Yamuna Expressway. Uh, when you reach to this point, take left, and after that, uh, there will be a small narrow road uh, for I think two kilometers. and that will take you directly to the gwalior highway go for this route if you really want to avoid the entire agra city congestion i i have nothing to do right now in agra so i am going by this route else uh, i normally go inside the city and uh, try to buy some pethas and all <laughs> same in a uh, ring road which is also connecting the uh, agra lucknow expressway five ten right now but uh, it's look like uh, already 6:30 so i just stop my car for a final uh, view of this trip <laughs> uh i i i just crossed uh, mathura and uh, i'm about to reach uh, noida and then delhi so if you'll we'll talk about the trip then yes it was really a fantastic journey so if you have any questions related with this trip or about this route then uh, feel free to ask me in the comment box I will try to give you the answers uh, as early as as possible. So, if you are also planning for these kind of trips, like from Goa to Delhi or Delhi to Goa, then uh, don't take uh, don't think about it that uh, you have a small car, you have a big car, you have a SUV, you have a MUVs. Every car have problems. Every car have solutions. So, never think about your car uh, performance or whatever it is. Just ignore all the problems and uh, yeah, hit the road. <laughs> That's all I can say. Some car have uh, performance issues. Some car have uh, average issues. Means like if they are giving you a performance and everything, but in the end you are paying lot of money for the fuel. That is really not good. And uh, just in case if you have a CNG car, then simply go for it uh, with this with that car because uh, in every city. in on every road on every highway you will get the cng pump stations hardly you will spend uh, 10000 rupees on cng and 3 4000 rupees on uh, fuel so in total you are paying just 40000 rupees it's uh, almost 2000 kilometers if you are taking this route and if you are uh, uh, going by gujarat then uh, it's approximately 2150 somewhere around Uh, you can you can call it 2200 uh, because uh, there is a margin of 200 kilometers if you are going uh, from this route via Nasik Indore and all. So pick this route on the basis of uh, two criteria. One is that with whom you are traveling. If you are traveling with your wife, with your kids, with your family, then don't pick this route because uh, they need. Uh, or if you are a woman. or if you are a solo traveler means a girl then don't pick this route because um, you will hardly get any uh, restrooms you will hardly get any places to eat you will hardly get uh, the even the fuel stations so it's sort of a you know risky thing for you but 
just in case if it's just a boys trip then or you are a solo traveler like me then you can pick this route there is no problem there is absolutely no problem at all and the second criteria is uh, food and the accommodation uh, on this route you will get uh, the first recommendation uh, in gwalior uh, that is uh, not recommended because of uh, they have very limited options and it's quite expensive as well the second option that you will get is in indore which is almost uh, 900 kilometers from delhi the third option that you will get it is in uh, nasik and the fourth is in pune and uh, after pune it's going to be kolhapur and then you can take a break uh, your final break to goa but if you're going from gujarat then you have a option uh, to stay after every 250 kilometers like uh, first you can take a stay in jaipur like i did uh, and uh, after that you have uh, ajmer you have udaipur then you have ahmedabad if you are uh, if you are skipping ahmedabad just like me then uh, you have vadodara then you have surat and uh, daman and diu uh, as well means like it's close to surat and then you can go to mumbai pune all that places uh, plus the food is uh, the food options over there are uh, pretty good and uh, on this route honestly i didn't find uh, the good restaurants uh, apart from two or three uh, for the food honestly i didn't want to go to home uh, but it's already 6th of january and uh, my mom is still sick so i need to reach home as soon as possible yeah that's it that's all for this vlog uh, i'll see you in the another one very soon uh, till then stay connected